Hi, this is Ian Bering. I've had the great joy and privilege to work with more than a thousand leaders, women and men, in more than 40 countries since 1990. And I've come to a conclusion that in all the truly great organizations, people feel valued, they live values, and they deliver and exchange value in the pursuit of a higher purpose. And so my work in the peer groups that I lead and the mentoring that I undertake with groups and also the follow through from those group sessions one on one. We focus on people leadership, process innovation, purpose impact. People leadership, it's the art of seeing, sometimes unearthing, but mostly magnifying and enhancing people's essence. That's our unique personal wisdom and wise leaders are, are wonderful at doing this for other people, but also themselves. Process innovation, it's really the truth about management. Processes, of course, include principles and policies, procedures, practices, philosophies. They include structures and systems, and they also include assumptions. And in the great workplaces, wise leaders are able to lead people to make sure that all of these processes mean that it's simple for people to bring their essence to their work. Purpose impact, all the, the, the wisest leaders that I've ever met, they know that profit's not a reason for being in business. Profit rather is a result of being good at business. All the wise leaders, they're in pursuit of something beyond profit, a higher purpose. Simon Sink called it a, a, a just cause. In my work, I help people really in three areas. First of all, in the deep appreciation of people. That wonderful psychologist, William James, 100 years ago or so, he said that the deepest human desire, so not just any old desire, but the deepest human desire is to feel appreciated. And a lot of my work centers around helping you to do that. I also help people to make sure that all of your processes are absolutely making it simple for people to bring their best to the work. It's hard, off, it's hard often time consuming work, but it's highly valuable in the end. It centers around making sure that you've got behaviors for all your values, but the key to the work is in conversations. I've learned over many years now of working with people that candid, convivial, compassionate, conscious and compelling conversations are required. And we all have the innate ability to have such conversations. I think there are 15 conversations that count and I'll put, I'll put some links to that in on my website and in the other references that accompany this video. I hope we get an opportunity to work together sometime. It all begins with a 30 minute complimentary conversation where we see if we're really right for one another and then we go from there.